Welcome to this short tutorial on how to log hours in Meconomy. Unfortunately, the user interface in Meconomy is only in Norwegian, but we hope that this video will enable you to log your hours successfully. Start by logging on to Meconomy using your username and password. From the top menu, select the button marked Timesadel, which translates into Timesheet. Your screen will now show you a color-coded calendar. Red indicates past week in which you have not submitted a timesheet, while green indicates that you submitted a timesheet for that week. Future weeks are gray. Select the week in which you wish to register hours. The week you've selected should now be highlighted with a gray box around the week number. When you've selected the correct week, click the button marked Opret to start logging your hours. Once you click this button, the timesheet for that week is created in Meconomy, and if you have email notifications enabled, you'll receive notifications should you fail to submit it in time. To start logging hours on projects, click the page icon on the left-hand side of the screen. This will create a line in your timesheet where you will fill in a project number and the number of hours to be logged on that project. Fill in the 8-digit project number. If you do not remember the number, you can search for projects by clicking the magnifying glass in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Search for project by name using asterisks for wildcards. And then select the correct project from the drop-down menu below. If you want the system to remember the current project for future registration, check the checkbox marked Behold. This will save the current project number and will appear on the drop-down menu for future use. Once you have your correct project number, fill in your hours in the appropriate weekdays. When you filled out your hours for the current project, you can comment them in a column marked Kommentar. This helps the project manager who is to approve the hours keep track on activity on his or her projects. Now, in some cases you will have weeks that stretch over two months. In those cases you are only able to log hours in the month from which you selected the week. So if you select the last week in February, which also stretches into March, you'll only be able to log hours in February and vice versa. Trying to log hours outside the current month will result in an error message as shown on the screen. If you need to log hours on more than one project, simply repeat the process starting by clicking the page icon on the left hand side of the screen. When you're satisfied that you logged all your hours for the selected week, Take a moment to check all the inputted information, correcting any mistakes. When you're confident that all the information is correct, submit your timesheet by clicking the button marked Avleve, and you'll see that your week has now switched to green. If you need to change a submitted timesheet, navigate to the week you wish to make your changes in, and click the button marked Janopne. If the button's inactive, the timesheet has not yet been approved by the project manager. Update your timesheet in the same way that you logged your hours initially. Note that the timesheet should always show the correct amount of hours which you wish to charge to the project. When you're satisfied with the changes you made, resubmit your timesheet by clicking Avleve. The timesheet will again be sent to approval by the project manager. From time to time, you'll have your timesheets rejected. Rejected timesheets will appear as a notification under the menu Alarm and you'll also receive an email notification of any timesheets that are rejected. If the left-hand menu isn't shown, click the button marked Vis Mini on the top left-hand corner, and from there, click Avist Tid. Select the week with the rejected timesheet, making sure to read the comment from the project manager. From there, select the rejected line and correct directly in the desired cells to the correct number of hours for that day. Again, once you're satisfied with the changes you made, you resubmit your timesheet by clicking Avleve. Your timesheet will now be sent to approval to the project manager again. 